building on child welfare bosses over the failure to save Central Coast toddler Tanilla Warwick Deeds. Disturbing claims have emerged about the extent of her suffering, including allegations she was bashed and punished because she wasn't toilet trained. Scattering roses over her tiny grave. It's a loving gesture, but an awful reminder. Seeing her, well, before we buried her, it's the only way we was real. Tanilla Warwick Deeves was two years old, too young to talk, tragically young to die. Her natural father, Adrian, and his wife, Brooke, say it should never have happened. She'd be here today if they did the right thing. They is the child welfare system. DOC's documents reveal 33 calls were made to the government agency over concerns for Tanilla's welfare. I remember specifically saying it's, it's not a safe environment. A type of environment police will allege escalated because this young girl was struggling with toilet training. A statement of facts obtained by Nine News claims in the week before her death, Tanilla was repeatedly punished, belted with an electrical cord, had shoes thrown at her, made to run around a room until exhausted, had her head bashed against a shower screen, held head first over a toilet. And for her final two days, investigators claim Tanilla was left unconscious in a pram. I feel like a failure because if I knew half the was going on, and he didn't do enough. <laughs> Tanilla's stepfather, Warren Ross, has been charged with murder. Her mother, Donna Deves, is accused of manslaughter. In a statement, Doc says it's conducting a full review into its involvement with this family. It also says any lessons the department's learned from this tragedy will form part of a report that aims to better protect vulnerable children and their families. The bottom line is you are charged with the responsibility for the welfare of everyone's children. You have to do your job and you have to take it seriously. What happened there, what happened here, it's irrelevant. She's gone. Dimity Clancy, Nine News. The people of North West...